So, Indian style air fried potatoes. Now you can do these in the oven if you want. You could fry them if you want, uh, just a little bit of oil in a pan. The oven would work better than frying, but obviously air fryer is the best way for these because they should go nice and crispy. Now, two medium sized jacket potatoes, which I've peeled, I've started to chop, but just to show you what I'm doing is I am doing about, oh, one centimeter, about there, cutting them into like fritters. And then what I'm gonna do with each one of these is cut them into chips, about the same again one centimeter if you've got a bit left over just chuck that in as it is it don't really matter i'm going to do that and then just like that just like that about an inch cubed don't matter if a few are a bit bigger than the others we're home cooking we're not on a program and doing 50 takes to make them look perfect i'm going to do all of these and then we'll be back shortly who you calling shorty and there you go all done now if you do want a precise weight there's 400 grams of potatoes there these are old potatoes you can use new but obviously the old ones are a bit better because we're sort of like doing roast potatoes in a way. What I'm going to do with these now is give them a real good wash to get rid of any starch. And then I am going to dry them off with kitchen towel. So I'll do that and then come back. So there they are, all washed, dried off as best we can. Now I'm not parboiling these because they're small, about one centimetre cubed. They should cook pretty quick anyway and that's why it's better as well to use old potatoes because they cook quicker and it saves having to parboil them so what we're going to add to it now is and that's the last one five teaspoons of cooking oil whichever you want vegetable oil sunflower oil rapeseed oil but the sky's your limit on oils nowadays get all of that off the spoon that's your oil now we need to give that a good mix up Then we add one teaspoon of curry powder, just like that. Give that a mix. And then the next spice is in my little bag here. I've got half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of coriander, a quarter of a teaspoon of chili. That's it, they're going in. Again. Give it another mix. Now it is probably better now to use your fingers to get it all to mix properly because the spices will start to absorb some of the oil. So, and once just hit the floor. So let's get the fingers in. Just remember, turmeric will stain. And that's that. And then for the next ingredient, we just need to add one more teaspoon of oil because as i say the spices have absorbed the oil and we need to mix it because i've now got one teaspoon of cumin seeds and they need to stick and they won't because it's all been absorbed by the spices so that extra teaspoon just let the cumin seeds stick and that's it i'm now going to whack it in the air fryer full temperature whatever your full temperature is i'm going to put it in for half an hour obviously i'm going to shake it every 10 minutes just to make sure they're all cooking evenly and then we'll see what they're like it may take a bit longer because different potatoes cook at different times so i can't say I'm, it's definitely 20 minutes definitely half an hour especially like i say for using new so i'm going to put these in for half an hour first Give them the basket a good shake every 10 minutes and then we'll check and I'll come back and let you know if I've got to put them on any longer. And I'll see you in a moment. And there we have them, Indian air fried potatoes. Now, you can add the salt when you're actually mixing all your spices in, but I think it's better to just cook them as they are and then what we're going to do is add a bit of salt now. Give them a quick mix. Obviously when these are on your plate you're just going to Oh, getting away look you're just going to put it over it's like sprinkling over the plate but there we go so let's go in nice bit of crunch to them as well you know I'm gonna say bang him you're getting the spices coming through that chill is just getting me at the back of the throat now if you are a lightweight I mean if you don't like a lot of chili obviously you can cut the chili out altogether because there is a bit in the um, curry powder that you're using forgot what it was called then 
And as I said, look, the, the turmeric will stain your fingers, so I probably don't pick it up like I'm doing. Now with these, what you can do, you can cook them ahead of time and then bang them back in the air fryer for 10 minutes and they'll crisp up again. Yeah, but they're nice and crispy at the minute. Mmm. So nice. Curry powder's coming through. Turmeric's coming through. When you bite into a um, cumin seed, you get that nice cumin flavour. They're banging. And how easy are they? How easy? They actually took 25 minutes in the air fryer. Boom. You could parboil them, which should probably cut it down to 15 minutes, but then you've got the time for parboiling. So, as the saying goes, it's as broad as it is long. It's better to just do them and whack them in the air fryer and I can't stop eating them. Now, what would you have these with? You could have them on the side of your plate when you have a curry. I know some of you mm, like what you call half and half. So you have half of your rice that you'd normally have and then half of chips rather than a big portion of rice, big portion of chips. You could have these instead of the chips. Or you could have your rice and your curry and have these on the side of the plate instead of like your Bombay potatoes and that sort of thing. Or you could just have it with beans, egg, sausages, whatever. They're nice. Hmm, that's that done. I was going to bang these back in the air fryer for my tea, but I don't know if there'll be any left by then. Thumbs up if you like this video. Quick and easy recipe there for you. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Drop your comments in below. Do you like the looks of these? You're going to give them a go. They're easy, easy. And there is a new Spot the Difference competition on our community tab. So go and check that out. And don't forget to check it every couple of days for when something new pops up on there. Because YouTube doesn't give you notifications for community posts. As far as I know. And join us this Saturday. It's a four year anniversary on YouTube. Yeah, we should be massive by now, but we're not. We just have you lot, our loyal following. Join us Saturday for a knees up four year anniversary on YouTube. And I'll catch you later.